I know the conversation's all about the Jets and the Chiefs. Sunday night, MetLife Stadium at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And all the Swifties are going to be out with the Travis Kelsey jerseys. Did you see it was like a 400% increase of Not the jersey sales? Not surprising. And everything like that. Now, I want to get into this quick. And I actually like Taylor Swift. I like, I like her music. The game was 41 to 10, and she's screaming out, let's effing go from the, from the, from the box. Relax. Does she, does, does she even know who the quarterback of the Chiefs was before Patrick Mahomes was there? <laughs> Calm down. She's been with this guy for two minutes. She's already meeting Mama Kelsey in the box. Well, she's an icon in her own, right? Well, I'm just saying, though, it's two minutes in, Speedy. Do you, would you, if you were dating somebody, would you, let, would you let your girlfriend meet your mother five minutes into the relationship? If her mother was as epic as Donna Kelsey, maybe I would. Uh, but that's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. When I was first dating Melissa, it took Melissa time to, before she met my parents. Fair enough. It's, it's what a relationship is. You, you build something before you uh, – because the parent is a big step, Speedy. It's a huge step in the dating world. Next thing you know, I see uh, Taylor Swift screaming, let's have and go right next to his mother. <laughs> and then apparently now Taylor Swift's best friend is with Patrick Mahomes' wife. At a party. Oh, well, all right. That's where the problem starts. So that's, yeah, exactly. You want to stay away from her. Stay far away from her. And stay far away from his brother, too. (laughs) I mean, but, like, you think about it this way. And now you're hearing Aaron Rodgers might be there Sunday night. And I will say this. I'm not even saying this because I'm a Jet fan. Wouldn't it be so funny if Zach Wilson has the game of his life and the Jets beat the Chiefs right in front of Taylor Swift? Ah, oh, that's uh, Aaron Rodgers loves Taylor Swift. I tell you, some, I tell you, that would just be so funny if that happened. It's not going to. I think the I think the over under is ten and a half. <laughs> I'd be amazed if the Jets if the Jets have ten passing yards in the first quarter. I'm keeping the Chiefs defense. I picked them up against the Bears last week, and I have them going against uh, the Jets this week. Oh yeah. So power combo. <laughs> I tell you, I look at it in this perspective. Uh, this whole story thing with this with the Swift Kelsey thing. Please, please. Let's, I mean, the fact that ticket sales went up because Taylor Swift's going to be in the building is wild. But can you imagine if Aaron Rodgers was starting for the Jets in this game and Taylor Swift was there? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, it, yeah. Aaron Rodgers it would be his life. It would be the highest rated Sunday Night Football game in the history of the NFL. Aaron Rodgers would have the game of his life. Zach Wilson will just probably either be looking at her, or look, trying to find her mom. <laughs> I tell you, it would literally be the high. Can you imagine if you got Rodgers, Mahomes, and Swift is in the building? Oh, yeah. That would be the highest rate Sunday night football game in the history. Oh, yeah. For sure. They're not even close. And it still might get a very good rating because all the Swifties are buying Travis Kelsey jerseys. Mm-hmm. And then in a few months, they're going to have a breakup, and she's going to write a song about him. What a douche she is, and this and that and everything. He's yep, a- it's going to rattle them in the playoffs whenever that song comes out. The Chiefs will lose because Travis Kelsey's too flustered by a breakup song. Well, it's just, you're, you're, you know, you're spinning in the hamster wheel of turd. That's what you're doing. I mean, that, that's what's going on. Uh, spinning, speaking of uh, spinning the hamster wheel, we got the geese chaser himself on the phone. Kenny! I've seen Wilson win, but he kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. That's being generous. But uh, we'll get to Zach Wilson in a minute, because I do kind of feel... And I was okay, actually talking I'm to Speedy about The jury this isn't completely out of him. You never know. He could finish the year doing well. No, I, no. <laughs> Ken... Kenny, you have a better chance of catching 100 geese in an hour than uh, Zach Wilson does Kenny, being what, good. Kenny, before you call me, what were you smoking before you said those lines out loud? I, Zach Wilson could have a good end of the year. Okay, I did get high. Yeah, well, exactly. Over under, how many times does NBC show Taylor Swift in the box Sunday night? Hmm. I don't know. I only saw her once, and I think... Taylor Swift sucks. No, you see, I don't mind her. I'm going to go 11. <laughs> oh, no, I, I can 11. say that she's best at covering other people's version because I heard two songs that she liked and the rest I've like, this is absolute trash. No. <laughs> it's blank song Taylor Swift version. Oh, good. She's like every other pop star, good at covering other people's material, and her material is trash. Well, you, you know what? You, oh, see, now here's the thing, though, Kenny. Call it like yeah. it is. This girl could have 10 shows at MetLife Stadium, and she'll sell out every single one of those shows in five seconds. Yeah, but I wouldn't pay one single penny to I, I listen, even want to I, practice. Kenny, no offense, and I love you, and so does Speedy. I don't think Taylor Swift's going to be affected at whether you pay for that I'm trash or not. The best <laughs> album is probably the John Mayer version of one of her albums. No. 